Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to talk about how you can use this club and practice this club more effectively than you currently do. It's a simple technique, it's well worth trying, it will definitely have benefits. So if you're interested in this, stay tuned. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf. Now I've been playing golf now for 50 years and I've been coaching now for 33 years. So over that time, I've seen a lot of different ways of doing things. And I also see a lot of people practicing the wrong way. Now they think they're practicing their golf. What they think is practicing their golf, I call exercise they tick off that they've hit 500 balls in a session. And the problem with that is, it's not quantity that I think is we need to concern ourselves with, it's quality. And one of the best things you can do to practice your driving, instead of hitting shot after shot after shot at a specific target, I think we should be training ourselves on the range like we would try and hit a drive on a golf course. So what do I mean by that? I want you to imagine that this fairway out here is a hole that you play regularly. And I want you to be able to picture the, the drive, the width of the fairway, the shape of the shot, just like you would on a normal golf hole. I'm gonna picture here a hole that is a slight dog leg to the left. So I need to be able to shape the ball right to left, but I don't wanna go into the left hand trees. So as I stand here watching it, I'm gonna say that uh, the right-hand side of the fairway is halfway between where this first flag is and the right-hand trees. I'm gonna say that the, the trees down the left are near that 200 metre sign in the distance. So I wanna be able to start it out toward this flag. And if I hit it straight, that's fine, I'm in no trouble. I just don't wanna hit it right and I don't want to hit it too far left. So I'm just picturing I want to start it down that line and draw it back. If I can draw it around the corner, it's going to shorten the hole a little bit. So I've got the picture in my mind and I'm going to overlay the hole that I'm picturing so that you can see what I'm trying to achieve here. So I've got a clear picture in my head now of what I want to do. And I just take my setup and I have a practice swing, go through my routine and I try and hit that shot. So I've started it down over the top of that flag stick. It's just drawn back a little bit to the left. It could have drawn a little bit more, but I'm not unhappy with that. It's finished in the middle of the fairway, slightly left of centre, but that's the shot I pictured. Importantly, I'm on the dance floor. I didn't hit it in the right-hand trees, and I didn't hit it in the left-hand trees. So now we've hit that shot, what most people do at this point in time is they get another ball down there, and they try and hit the same shot. Now, I think that's the worst thing you can do. What I would like you to do now is to picture another hole that you're going to play. So now I'm going to say that we've got a dog leg right and I want to shape the ball left to right. So I want to hit this one down, sort of starting it just right of this yellow flag. And if I can fade it into that right side without going in the trees, it's going to give me a great position to play my next shot from. The left hand side of the fairway is where the 200 metre sign is. Anything left of that and I'm in trouble. So we go through the pre-shot routine again and I'm just picturing that. So you can see there on the overlay, the hole that I'm picturing in my head. I come back. And I hit the shot, just a nice little fade down the right hand side, it's not in the trees, I'm now in the perfect position for me to hit that shot. Now if we continued on almost playing hole by hole every time you need a driver, so you might, you might think, 
I've just hit two shots there in about six minutes or so. I haven't really timed it, but it, I've, I've taken my time with it. I've tried to create it real. So you might only hit 20 shots in the practice session, but play every single hole as you picture it and get good at that. And you don't have to, that isn't the end of your practice session, you do other things. But that's more efficient. You know, hitting 14 drivers, say in about 20 minutes, is a lot more efficient and getting better use to, to transferring the skills that you learn on the range to the course. So if you can incorporate that into your practice, I'm sure you're gonna start to see great rewards in your game of golf. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on my picture on the golf ball down the bottom there. You can get further information on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. You can also sign up to my electronic newsletter at thegolfdoctor.com.au.